Is there a reason why you don't want to run traction control? I know mean, this becomes a bit of a controversial topic. At, actually, there's a lot of mixed opinions on traction control for and against. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested on your take on that. Okay, okay, this is, a, this is an interesting point because um, we've got to try and use traction control pretty much as a safety. Mm -hmm. We feel like it, uh, it does uh, take a bit of power out way too much. Um, but the way it's been chewed now, we've got three different traction control settings, so we've upped it to about 12.5% uh, slip. And we feel like at this stage for the track, the way conditions are at the moment, with the tyres that are running and the weight of the car, just that little bit of slip going through the corners actually really benefits me. Yeah, I, again, there's obviously different takes on this. I, I think what you've mentioned there sort of matches my own sort of take on traction control. A lot of people will sort of give the engine as much power as it can make and then rely on the traction control to sort of to pull it back. But, you know, it, it is a, a reactive system as, a, as opposed to a proactive, which means it has to start wheel slipping or wheel spinning before the ECU can come and intervene. And there's always going to be some level of latency in that. So I think... Exactly. If you can do a really good job of matching the, the torque output of the engine to what the track can handle and just let that traction control be there in the background just in case, I think that's, that's quite smart. And as you mentioned there, allowing some slip as well, quite important because it allows you to actually drive the car using the throttle. Is, is that your sort of findings on that? A hundred percent.